to our earnings season special, the last one of the week, and uh, I'll just run you through a couple of updates that we've had uh, this morning. It's obviously a very busy period. We can't go through them all. Uh, one to draw your attention to is Barclays shares up uh, sharply here, um, rising through uh, our 100 day moving average on that one there. Um, Obviously, bank shares have really suffered. They peaked in June and then have been coming off sharply since interest rates have been crushed. Uh, but we have seen some steepening of the yield curve, especially in the US, um, with the twos and tens um, spread and the five and ten spread sort of at three year highs. So uh, that, that steepening of the yield curve is positive for financials. We saw financial stocks yesterday rise firmly in the US along with energy. Um, and today, UK banking stocks are up across the board thanks to Barclays results. Uh, and now a lot of that has come from their investment banking arm and consumer is a lot weaker. Um, but nevertheless, stabilization and net interest margin is a positive. And I think overall, uh, the results from Barclays indicate some uh, uh, renewed, um, certainly bode for renewed uh, appetite for, for UK banking stocks, which really have been at multi-year lows um, as a result of the pandemic. We look at Lloyd's, for example, trading here at 29 pence per share, still very weak, still at uh, all very, very low levels, um, but, and it still trades at about uh, a third of book value. Um, but here, as you can see, rising up to there, uh, close to its 100-day uh, moving average as well. Um, Elsewhere, we had results uh, last night from Intel in the US. Uh, it shares, I didn't know this chart won't reflect it, but shares fell 10% um, in uh, after hours trade. Uh, now down, uh, we've got a print here, down 8.6% in the pre-market trade. So trading at $49. So we could be back down this sort of region here on uh, Intel. It'll gap on the open um, later on. Um, Profit was down 28%, revenues declined more than 4%, as server sales dived 7%. Uh, it's a big miss for Intel. Um, we've seen some rotation out of tech. We've seen uh, Ford, General Electric, American Airlines all up firmly yesterday. Carnival cruises up um, and Apple was down 1%. So earnings are coming through. Um, mixed bags as usual, but so far 70% of European shares that have reported this season have beaten expectations. And next week, we've got a mammoth week for earnings with uh, Apple, Microsoft, Facebook, Amazon, uh, and HSBC, I think as well as Shell and BP over here in the UK. So a big earnings week next week, but for now, Barclays on the up, Intel down, and that's dragging on European tech this morning. Although across the board, we have seen decent strength uh, in early trading. That's it for the moment. Thanks for watching.